Hey folks, what's going on? This is Creos Hale. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. This is uh, my first video I'm doing for YouTube, so I do hope you enjoy it. First off, Elite Dangerous. It's a phenomenal game, especially if you remember the original Elite, or maybe more recently games like Freelancer, or Descent, or um, Terran, things like that where you have an open world to explore, you can do trading, you can do fighting, you can join different factions, things like that. This is this is what this game has. Obviously it's in competition right now with Star Citizen. Star Citizen is being handed out piecemeal and modules, while this is more of a complete package. Uh, keep in mind this is beta. I'm playing this on August 29th, 2014, beta 1.03. So there's a lot more features to come out, which I'll talk about in a little bit here. Um, but this video is intended to be some of the basics, but I'm trying to go a little bit beyond it as well. There's a, a lot of YouTube videos with the fundamentals of the game, so please go ahead and check those out. And I wanted to give you guys a few tips on trading, and then a few more tips and tricks on the combat aspect of it. I've taken that route. I have a uh, eagle it's a fighter vessel and what I mainly do is head to conflict zones choose a faction and basically become a mercenary for that side that's how I've been uh, you know amassing credits at this point so without further ado let's first take a look at the galaxy map All right. so I've already zoomed in on my area here but uh, let's go into the realistic map alright so I'm in Arenan and this is the bubble in which the beta is uh, taking place right now. Obviously, that's going to expand as time goes on. I mean, take a look at this. This is uh, it, it goes out very far. So um, there's going to be tons of systems to explore. So far, I've seen about six or seven. So I haven't even scratched the surface of the beta. Anyway, uh, if you want to go the trading route, you can go to the view menu, and in the view, you want to select map. Okay. I've already pre-selected uh, an item here, but you can go through and select whatever you want to trade. Uh, I've selected hydrogen fuels. Obviously, over here in Arenan, there's no trade route for hydrogen fuels. But if you look over here, for instance, at LP, Lima Papa, 98132, there's a trade route going from there to Ibutus. That would probably be profitable. So if you have some hydrogen fuels, you can offload it. Um, and you can virtually look at any item and figure out where the trade routes are and make your money that way so that'll start you off for now so I'll go ahead and show you guys how to go about heading to a conflict zone or Federation distress signal and uh, taking some uh, bad guys out so let's say you're over here at Azaban City which is where I'm at right now well, you've got a uh, high uh, or high intensity conflict zone and a Federation distress signal relatively close by that you can use that you can use to earn some credits. So, go ahead and lock Aaron in two as your destination. And before you head out, you can always look at the bulletin board in Starport Services. Oops, there we go. And oh, that's right. So always make sure to refuel. All right and head over to bulletin board and there you go you got one mission right here uh, destroy Aaron and ships you got a reward now this reward is besides the bounty that you collect on each ship that you destroy okay on this one you've got a reward of a thousand credits for destroying four Aaron and ships so you can accept that if you want to and then head out from there so let's go ahead and launch now like I said before phenomenal game you look at this right here this is not a CGI cinematic this is actually being rendered in game so and this is the space station space station alright let's get out of here before we get fined retracting the landing gear our way out.
Another thing I like about this ship, the Eagle, is that it's fast. Extremely fast. Oops, there we go. So if you need to get out of Dodge quickly, you can do that. There's Ernie. Alright, so anytime you're close to a space station or a large mass, uh, you're going to be inhibited uh, by a certain factor before you can get to super cruise. So obviously, there we go, we just got out of that area. Now if you look at my radar below, on the right side of the radar, you can see the speed that I'm traveling at. It's approximately 3,000 kilometers per second. We're going to increase as time goes on. Now, where we're headed to right now, Aaron and two, in order to find the... I'll take you guys to the Federation distress signal just because it's a simpler area uh, for now, for this video. But uh, to find it, you're going to go right up to Aaron and two, the planet, and you're going to look around and you're going to see it. It's going to be extremely easy to spot. Check out my speed again, I'm going at about 0.4 times the speed of light. So, 0.7c, 0.8c, so on. Now when you get over to the Federation Distress Signal or Conflict Zone, what have you, you're going to have to choose a faction. So in this case, we're, we're going to have to choose between Aranin and Federation. Uh, that's totally up to you. Or maybe your principles lie on one side or the other. For me, uh, how I determined it is when I reached there, I had a lot of Federation fines on me for different infractions. So uh, I decided to side with Aaron and go from there. Alright, we're going a little bit too fast here, so I'm going to slow down. Keep in mind that as you get closer, to a planet, its gravitational force will increase your speed. Crashing into a planet might not be good for business just yet, so... Alright, we should be getting pretty close to the area where you can spot it. So you want to go ahead and target the Federation distress signal, and let's get a bit closer to it. And there's the conflicts on there, so... Alright, let's slow down. Let's see if we're going to be able to use the... Nope. Uh, so we're going a little bit too fast, so we're going to swing back around. What I was trying to do just now is engage the safety. If you're at a certain speed or below, you can have a safe disengage and be right at the place where you wanted to go. So, let's see if I can get this done. Alright, safe disengage is ready. So, you can go ahead and press... The default button is J, but you can map it to whatever you want. Once you press that, destination lock engaged, and you're going to end up very close to where you want it to go. Alright, so immediately I'm going to deploy my weaponry. And let's swing around and... There it is. Okay, there's the Federation ship. Looks amazing, although it is damaged, of course, in the battle. But And then you're going to want to go to your right console and choose a faction. So I'm going to go with Aranin. And... Let's do, let's do some hunting. Now, I urge you to go into your key mapping and assign your keys accordingly. There are different buttons you can assign for finding hostiles in the area. And there's a different button you can assign for uh, 
targeting who's right in front of you, pretty much. So, uh, what I just did was I have a joystick and I've mapped some keys out to that, and I just changed the priority of my energy to my weapons. Let's see if this gets his attention. I got a 350 credit bounty for that guy. Here's the thing. This bounty, it's it doesn't automatically get populated into your account. I'm going to show you exactly how to cash that in. What you have to do is go back to an Aranen station, which right now is Osborne City. You go to Osborne City and you're going to go to Contacts. And once you go into Contacts, you're going to be able to cash in the bounties. This guy's shields are already off. Oh, here we go. Ah. Alright, so that's a good example right there. Um, I obviously took that guy's shields down, and then somebody else took him down, which, uh, of course, that's AI who took him down, but if you're playing online, other folks can take your bounties as well. Uh, one advantage right now, and I think they may, might take this out in full version of the game Target is that your ship and credit uh, bank account are interchangeable between solo play and multiplayer. Target so destroyed. basically you can amass a good amount of credits and a nice ship in solo play and take it out into open play. Uh, it depends on what kind of style you want to play it as. I, I tend to careful. You want to be careful about colliding into ships because that could be disastrous. Um, so I, I prefer more of playing multiplayer just because of possible interaction with other folks online. As I said before, you want to be careful right now about open play because um, Target destroyed. Just Warning. a chance of you get destroyed. Here we go, we got another attack here. Uh, there's more chances of you getting shot down by uh, other players. I hope that changes with time once once everybody knows how to use the chat system and people are communicating. Uh, but right now, it seems like players are still choosing to interact Target with their weapons. <laughs> Alright, so if you're going to do that, now that I'm not under attack or anything, let's get out of here. I'm going to show you exactly how to cash in those bounties. So you want to go back to Osmon City. Right, there it is. And what I did just now was retract my hard points, which is the weaponry, because you can't go into super boost without that. Oh. Alright, I've set my power systems back to normal, so it's equalized between normal systems and Drive challenges. So the ship I'm in right now, like I said before, was is the uh, Eagle. It has room for three hard points on it. I have two weapons right now fitted onto it just because of the funds I had available at the time when I, after I got the ship. But So there's a couple of things to keep in mind. If you're wanting to get into combat right from the beginning in your Sidewinder, which is a default ship, you can do that. You've got those two pulse lasers that are loaned to you. Uh, it's default. Uh, comes with it, so at, at no additional cost. So what I recommend that you do is come over here, go to the Federation Distress Signal site, and take out some of uh, either faction's forces. When you do that, something to keep in mind is you'll amass these bounties. So now in the course of this, you might get 
shot at, you might get your shields uh, knocked out and your hull damaged. When you come back to Azaban City, you got to ask yourself whether you, or not you want to repair your ship. What you can do is cash in your bounties, uh, head out of the sp space station and actually crash into the station, and you will get your default sidewander back at 100% health. And uh, some may con consider that cheating, but it's just one of the ways to save more of your credits. As you move forward in the game and you want to purchase a better ship, you want to keep enough in your bank account for ship insurance so that if you do get destroyed, you can purchase your ship back. So for instance, for the Eagle, I need to have at least 3,000 credits in my bank for the ship insurance. So when I switched from the Sidewinder to the Eagle, I believe the Eagle cost me 16,000 credits when I bought it. So I went up to about 21,000 just to have a good buffer. Now if you're keeping up on the news for this game and what the new beta is going to have, uh, they're coding new atmospheric effects for the planets. And I believe that's going to lead up to eventually, and I hope it's soon, we're actually going to be able to go into planet, planetary atmospheres, explore different worlds, things like that. It was originally attended from the beginning, so it's just a matter of time. I'm hoping it happens before the end of the year, so... Alright, almost to Azban City here. Just wanted to give you guys a view of the Eagle once again. Alright, safe disengage is ready, so let's use it. Outside Azvan City. All right, so you can see in the lower right of my console there that I directed all my power to the engines. So now I'm going a lot faster than I was before. All right, so one of the things that in the beginning sometimes it's difficult to figure out is how to approach the space station. So I'm just going to take you around in a little bit here. But just keep in mind, the reason why it's rotating is so that the people inside, which you can't walk around inside yet, later on you will be able to, is, is so that the people inside have a sensation that there is gravity inside the space station. So because of that, the opening of the space station will be on its axis of rotation. So. Now, there's another way you can determine where the opening is at, is just to see where the ships are going. So, this guy up here, this uh, oh, is a Cobra Mark III. And uh, so I targeted him and scanned him. It looks like he's wanted. Okay. So now, right now, you might be tempted to take him out. But be careful. If you are in. Oh, there he Okay. Alright. <laughs> They're taking him out. So, if you're in. This no fire zone, and you fire on a pirate, even though he's a pirate, the space station will take you out, even though you're trying to do a good thing, so be careful. So I'm getting scanned right now, I don't have any illegal cargo, so I don't really care. Um, so I'm going to request docking privileges. Request granted. The request has been granted. And if you've played this game, then you know how fun it is to dock. Even the simple act of landing is friggin' awesome in this game. 
So let's look for landing pad 12, which is over here on the left. Alright, let's get the landing gear out. Warning. Landing gear not deployed. Ah. There it is. Okay. Oh, right. That was weird. I thought I had uh, deployed it. There we go. Now we're aligned. Disengaged. So let's enter the hangar so that we're kind of deconflicted from the interior of the station. So you want to capture those bounties you got. Alright. So go to contacts and you want to go to the local security office and boom, you've got your bounty vouchers ready for you. Cash them in and that's it. So, and also, I just zoomed through it, but you can go to Pilots Federation and pay off any you know, bounty, uh, or uh, fines that you have or anything like that. Alright. So you want to make sure now in the beta there's fuel, so it's super cheap, so make sure to refill on that. And that's it. You can pretty much stay out there at that Federation area and grind away and amass a ton of credits. So that's one of the ways to get about in this game. As I said, you can do, do the trading route as well. Obviously if you do that, you're going to be making your way towards one of the Lake Hone ships, or I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, the Lake Hone ships, uh, those are huge haulers. Uh, they can jump long distances, and they can carry a lot of items, so that's what you want to do. Um, that's it for this video. wanted to show you a little bit about Beyond the Basics, and I know I kind of concentrated more on the fighter aspect, which is the way I'm going. Uh, or the mercenary aspect, I should say. Uh, I think in the future you're probably going to be able to choose sides permanently, and there mi might be struggles across the galaxies and the universe, which would be pretty cool. But right now you're more of a mercenary. You go into a battle and choose a faction, and you start um, shooting down spaceships and collecting the bounties. Well, all right, that's all I have for you guys today in this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'll be coming out with some more videos in the near future for this game and some other games that I've been enjoying, such as Daisy. So, uh, really appreciate you watching. Thank you, and have an awesome day.